All right. We have a delivery. From Russell Cycle Products. Let's open it up. Always use the right tool for the job. Ah. It's not worth doing if it ain't worth any overkill, right? Oh boy. <laughs> oh God. That's going to be a mess. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Get out of there. Hey. You, no, we're, let's not with the. Oh, those guys. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. God, I wish I could have shipped it out for $64. <laughs> it did not, it cost me a lot more than 64 bucks to ship this. <laughs> Give me a nice little write up here. Warranty. Huh, cool. Nice. All right. Well, let's take a look at it. Here's some good news. The paper layer wasn't as thick as I thought it would be. I thought the whole thing was paper, so we're just about there. And here we go. Oop. Come on. Ugh. Oh yeah, there's more in the bottom. There we go. Oh. Wow, brand new. I like the feel of it. There she is. Kind of got pretty close to stock look. Oh yes, my cover. There's still a mom and pop shop as a, <laughs> a Ziploc bag is being used, so that's cool though. Well, let's throw her on the bike and see how she feels. As you can see, it showed up not a moment too soon. You can see where this one's starting to get. This one I bought was getting, starting to rip out a little bit. The other one was, or the, the stock one was getting just as bad. So we're definitely uh, in need of a new seat. Well, I guess it's not my seat. The cat has claimed ownership on it. So I guess that's the end of the video, everybody. You know, so... Please allow me, oh, there, it's mine now again. You fell off, kitty cat. Yeah, it's mine. You can't have it. Radar, <laughs> you goofball. You're such a goober. You wanna say hi to everybody? Do ya? Well, now he's camera shy. By the way, that's Andy, everybody. Yeah, that's Andy. He kinda runs the house. Radar's just kind of here, aren't you, Ray? No, well, now he's shy for the camera. Anyways, back to business. Well, here's the side-by-side. -side. Obviously, the right side one's the Russell Daylong. This is the, well, this is a stock seat that I bought on, on uh, used off of eBay for $150. But uh, as you can see, this one's obviously much nicer. Uh, my wife just made the comment that that seat's so nice, now the rest of the bike isn't going to look good. <laughs> So, but, uh, and actually you kind of got a similar stitch pattern, like 
In run respect, I think you could almost get away with that being a factory stitch. But uh, yeah, well, let's put it on. Alrighty, it's on there now. Don't look too bad. A little bit of a difference, but. Yep. Hmm. All right. Well, let's have a seat on it. Okay. So, got a pretty good feel to it. Feels good and solid. Um, right there, I do like those. Those are the little the sides of the pans here. Those are really nice. I do like those. So I can see that's where it kind of holds it on. All right. Well, it's on there as you can see. Few things. Um, this backrest part, uh, we're probably I'm probably gonna send that in this winter to get it redone. I didn't send it in this time because honestly, I didn't really want to go buy that piece to have on here as well, and I didn't want it to not be on there. So we're probably gonna send that in this winter to get it redone. Um, otherwise, me and the wife will sit on it, and so far so good. I mean, honestly, we didn't really get much time to sit on it, but hopefully, we'll get to try it on a ride this weekend. It kind of sucks that we're gonna end up breaking it in on a ride uh, up to you know up into Wisconsin and the upper peninsula of Michigan but yeah you know I tell you what we're gonna have a good idea of how we like the seat after it that's for sure two more things about this seat first of all this is a solid seat like it's really just solid like a really good and solid seat also if you look down here this seat feet this seat hugs better to the panel, I think, than even the stock Honda Goldwing seat does. And that's saying something. So once again, very impressed with this this with this company. They do a very good job. Yeah, like I said, good solid. These pieces here, they're solid pieces. They've got some springs in them. Like these little spots right here, those have got good solid springs in them. And the seat kind of just, you know, it kind of holds you. It just kind of sucks you in into a natural position. So, good seat. Really nice seat. Okay, so. You're probably wondering why I chose the company I did. Well, biggest thing, the biggest reason I chose uh, Russell Daylon is, well, a lot of people said a lot of good things about it. Um, actually, the biggest thing, I probably really made a decision when I was reading about when Wendy Crockett won the Iron Butt Rally a few years ago. And one of the first things she talked about when she talked about things that helped her succeed was a Russell Daylong seat. So that's where I pretty much said, okay, this is probably something I need to look into. Did some research, found out that they're not a whole lot more expensive than like a Mustang seat or something like that, and it's custom made to you, and that's what really attracted me to it was that. So, all in right now, I've, so, so let's see, if I, if I, so I, I had an extra $150 I spent to buy that seat off of eBay, so I'd have a seat to use while this uh, was uh, in the shop. It did, basically it took a little bit to get everything together and it was it was lower on the totem pole of, of required things to spend a thousand dollars on so it was it was february when i finally got it going and the production date was until may and i didn't really want to miss one of the writing season so i spent 150 dollars bought a, a gl1800 seat off ebay to use while i was waiting for the seat to be done so 150 dollars and then it cost me about 120 to ship the seat so at that point i was at about what was it 270 and then the seat got made, sent back to me with the extra springs, and it was 904 for that. So all in, we're looking at about 1025 or $1,125, which that is, that's pretty decent money. You take that 150 off for that seat, and you're looking at 900 and, or no, excuse me, you're looking at about, about 1,020. So we're looking at about 1150 all in right now, and you take the seat out, it was about uh, $1,020, which you think about it, Mustang seats around that $700 price range, so $300 more I don't think is a heck of a lot more to get a nice custom made seat. So that's why I went the route I did. Um, I'm probably here once after we have the seat for a while, get used to it, get used to the feel of it. I'm probably going to end up selling that other GL1800 seat. Uh, to see maybe I can you know if I can get a hundred bucks out of it great you know that 
that's what I'm gonna shoot for anyway. I mean, in the end, it may, I don't know, with the cost of shipping, we'll, we'll see. But uh, hopefully I can get that thing sold. I think I'll try to do that, maybe recoup some of that money. But honestly, I think in the end, even if I don't ever get that seat sold and it's, uh, you know, $1,150 all in, you know what? I'll take it because to me, comfort on a seat is one of those really important things on a motorcycle. So the process to shift the seat, I mean, it's it's not too bad. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a process, but it's not too bad. Uh, essentially, you start out, you so you go wrestle, you go to their website, um, and you read the instructions. Read their instructions. Do exactly what their instructions tell you. One of the steps of it is you need to take pictures of you and your passenger, if you have one, on the motorcycle in your normal seating position. So you'll need to figure out a way to get those pictures done. Those pictures are crucial because that's how they sculpt the seat, is from seeing kind of where you ride on those pictures. So you need to get those pictures taken. Uh, obviously, you got to send your seat in. Um, you don't have to send it in right away. So like if you, let's say you decide to, uh, you're going to do this, it's November actually i would suggest maybe about september time frame um if, especially if you live in the north maybe getting getting that order form submitted and put in and the website has an update of when the production dates are so kind of mirror that at the time of year when you can do it uh they're pretty darn accurate as far as their production goes uh it was what was it so the production date was what day was it it would have been the thursday before memorial day and then so it was it would have been on monday this past monday so it'd been almost like just about two weeks they called me and basically so if you don't send a check for payment um essentially you send it in when it gets done they'll call you for payment and then they get make sure they get your payment before they ship it out and then it's they shipped it on monday evening and they, here it is thursday evening it got here this afternoon so from california to south dakota so pretty good turnaround time you know once they go into production it's about you know really i'd say once they go into production pretty much that production date add three weeks and you're probably damn near guaranteed to have your seat uh for me it's actually been just over two weeks since the production started so but i'd say three weeks would be a pretty good bet for you so but and like i said the worst part of it is you got to take pictures on the bike and you have to fill out the forms you got to be accurate with your weight and your inseam and all that stuff. They need all that for so if you if you kind of got a thing for telling people your weight, well, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to tell them. But they're professionals in the end. Who cares? They're that's they're there to do a job and they're gonna do it right because they're really good at their job and they're professionals. Um, so you know, and and also the other hard part is when you got to ship your seat and a big old seat like my seat. Uh, it's a about a hundred dollars to ship from South Dakota to California. Um, now the first bikes I shipped was I had it was a goofy size box because I had to cobble it together from like four or five different boxes, and it was uh, oh gosh what was it was so I ran the uh, shipping estimate eight meter tonight and it's ninety it's ninety six bucks from South Dakota here, um, so it's going to cost you a bunch of money to ship it, but like I said, I think it's money well worth it. And then they pay the shipping back. And then if you got to do adjustments, basically they got a guarantee. Um, they'll give you full money back on a factory pan as long as you give them two chances of dust. Downfall of that is, of course, you know, you got to pay for the shipping the one way and they'll pay for the shipping back. So, but really, you think about it in the end, like for my case, okay, we ship it out twice. If so, another $200 in. And then uh, we they, they buy, buy it back at what the cost was, which was uh, 900 well, Take the shipping off is uh, about eight hundred fifty dollars. So really, in the end, eight hundred fifty. And let's say, right now I'm at um, so twelve hundred and twenty dollars and eight hundred fifty. Take that off that. It's so you're you're looking at you're about three hundred about three hundred dollars will be will be lost if if uh, it ends up not working for me. Which once again I don't think is too bad of a price because really think about it and you could have paid seven hundred dollars for it and it doesn't work and there's no one out else out there that has a money back guarantee on their seats nobody not a one i guarantee you you will not find one i mean they kind of do it's kind of a half ass one like ultimate like if you're at a rally you can put the seat on and ride around with it for like a day and test ride it which 
that's not enough time. I mean, you're probably not going to put 500 miles on a day. I mean, some people can, but like at a rally, you're probably not going to put on that many miles. But in the end, once you buy it and it's final, it's final. You're, <laughs> if it turns out, for example, ultimate seat my wife had on V-Star. It had, it was built out on the edges like it was supposed to be, which made it nice. The problem was, is that seat eventually broke down because it was just foam holding it up, holding up the, holding that thing up. So eventually once that seat broke down, after about two or three years, we were left holding the bag regardless. So we, you know, so, and then we ended up having to do a custom seat anyway, which didn't work too bad, but it's not as good as this one. So, but we'll give, we'll see how this goes and we will let you know the results. Well, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another banging video here from the Sodak Motorcycle Vlog. Or maybe you think it sucks, I don't know, whatever. But anyways, I got more where that come from. I got three videos popping up on that screen right about now. So, and there's a various assortment of what's on there. So hopefully I find there's a video you like that's on there. Um, if you already know you want to and you've already made it through this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button here on the bottom.